How to invoice directly on a sales order in Business Central. In Business Central, it's possible to invoice directly on a sales order when shipping the sales order or after shipping the sales order. It's possible to create an invoice directly on that document. Let's see how that is working. So I'm gonna to go to my sales order list and I'm gonna click here. And in this example, I've already created a sales order and maybe the warehouse has shipped the sales order. Actually, I'll just ship it for the demonstration purposes here. So I'll just find my sales order here and it will be the last one I have created. And here on this example, I didn't post the shipment yet just to show how the difference is, but there's a sales order and some person might have taken it up with a uh, Goujon uh, or the Last Supper. And some resources doing some uh, repairs or anything. And if I scroll on the right, I can see my quantity. And then if I scroll to here, my quantity to ship is four and eight. This is entered by the warehouse people when they're going to uh, partly ship this sales order. So it's possible to actually partly ship it. I can also see my quantity to invoice is defaulted, uh, filled in with the same quantities. So I'm ready to post the shipping, which normally is not done, of course, by the accountant. But in this example, I'm going to show you. And I can select the uh, shipment because I can distinguish between the shipping and the invoice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna scroll up to here and find posting and post. And I'm gonna select ship and okay. So now we'll just post like the warehouse would have done. And of course, if the warehouse people would also have done the invoicing and embedded the invoice in the box, they should have done both at the same time. But let's say now that it comes to the accountant and they're ready to post the invoicing of the sales order. So from the social order, we could leave the quantity to ship to be zero because we're not going to ship the remaining parts of this sales invoice or sales order. And, and I'm also going to leave this at zero. And I can just do posting like this and post and it's like posting a normal invoice. So I go up to posting, post, select invoice and click okay. And then yes. This is just done from the sales order and it will create a normal posted sales invoice like the shipment was posting a posted sales shipment, but I could search the posted sales invoice here. So let's see how that works. And I'm just going to type in posted sales invoice. And there it is. And it's important to note this on my posted sales invoice that it only inserts the quantities that were actually filled in the quantity to invoice because this is what we're invoicing. And I have the sales order number here. So when I post the remaining sales order or invoice the remaining sales order, it will have the same order number and this way I can link it together.